Hello and welcome back to another beer review. And in this beer review, we're off to Morrison's. We got the first beer I'm reviewing of the latest uh, releases in Morrison's. And I have to say, I've been pretty impressed with what I've seen on the internet. Um, my Morrison's hasn't got all of them in. Um, so I've just picked up what I could. And... Um, yeah, I mean, that, I mean the prices of them have got slightly dearer, I have to say. But um, I don't. To me, I'm not really that bothered about paying the extra fifty pence on some of them to four quid a can. It's you know, as long as the beer's a good a good beer, um, I'm not bothered at all. So the first one I'm doing is a three way, a three way, <laughs> a threesome. <laughs> We're doing a threesome. We've got a three-way collaboration beer between Siren, uh, North Brewing Company, and Salt Beer Factory, Super Smashing Grey. It is their one through three IPA, clocking in at 6% ABV. There you go. Um, so, Salt Beer Factory, I've never really had a decent collab from them yet, to be honest. They, they've been good on their own, but when they get in with somebody else, there's always a bit of trouble. <laughs> so, let's read the base. There's a collaboration between Siren Craft Brew, Salt Beer Factory, North Brewing. Um, this beer takes the best of each of our flagship IPAs to create. It's something unique, yet with elements of each recipe taking turns at the forefront. Expense. I'm not going to go into anything of the notes, but there you go. If you're pregnant, don't drink it. <laughs> so let's crack this open. This one, I think, was 350. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Get plenty. There is a there is a, a dankness there with plenty of fruity notes: stone fruit, peach, lemon there. It smells okay. It does. It smells okay. So let's whack this in like we do and see what this will be like. So, yeah, I mean, people were saying there's kind of like um, like a craft beer war going on between Morrison's and Tesco's now. But, I mean, you know, from a neutral point of view, I hope there is because that means that, you know, people like me, and you are winners because there'll be loads of great beers to drink. Um, the only thing I can see against, especially the price, um, would they attract, you know, you know, the, the curious shopper, the everyday shopper who's not really a beer drinker or anything, or, you know, has a few beers now and again, but would they pay that, you know, four quid? I don't know. Um, that's the only thing. I can think against it, you know, um, whether or not people will be put off with the price, especially, you know, like I say, not really beer drinkers themselves, but, you know, the curious shopper, should I say. <laughs> Slight haziness to this. A steady flow of carbonation going up there. As you can see, the, the head's just fluffed itself down. The aroma. More citrus for me, you know, at the glass. Not not as much dankness at all. It smells decent. I'm going to go in. So cheers, everybody. Very light. It feels like a session IPA to me. It does. It's It's... There's a light thinness in this beer. What well, really does remind me of a session IPA. You can drink ton of it. Um, it, it does port the mouth. It, 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 it is a. It's got a dry dryness on the back end. But there's gentle notes of citrus. There's general gentle notes of peach they're not full-on flavors in this 
which begs a question. You know, I'm drinking this. It's not a big... For me, this is my own personal opinion. I might not be right, of course. But for me, there's not really big, big taste notes. You're getting thinness, you're getting a lightness, you're getting a dryness, you're getting a mishmash of citrus, yeah, tropicalness, and that's about it. Now, they say on the blurb on the back, this beer takes the best of each of our flagship free flagship IPAs. So it's taken a bit of all three of their IPAs. You know, is that the sound wave? Um, is that the, um, I can't remember the North Brewing Company one. I did have it up there. <laughs> Transmission, is it? Or is it the, um, the salt one? The salt one would be the, is it the jute? I'm not too sure now. Get mixed up with salt beers, is it? <laughs> anyway, so it's 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 this beer is supposed to be the collaboration of three IPAs, and I can tell you now, if I put a blindfold over me and I tasted that, it, it tastes more like a session IPA. And I'll be honest with you, the taste notes are pretty generic. What you get in any IPA, so they're saying they're they're taking the best out of their three IPAs, but at the end of the day, it, for me, you know, it, it tastes like a session IPA. It's 6%. I'm not feeling the 6% in that. I'm not getting the 6% in that. I think it's because of the mouthfeel. And the, the body of the beer itself, it's very light, it's very thin on the ground for me. So, this is where it comes from, you know, when beers go up a notch in price, I tend to get a little bit more critical. I think this one was £3.50. For me personally, it's not worth £3.50. It's not worth, it doesn't feel special, it doesn't feel like a £3.50 beer to me. It feels like a beer which would only be two fifty. You know, yeah, I think you're being paid paid a pound more. If this is three pounds, because I can't remember how much I paid for it, I, I think I still feel slightly disappointed in it because it doesn't feel it does not feel special. Special. Yeah, it doesn't feel special. Going again. So, it's nice, it's great, but, you know, if they didn't have them three on the can, it could be anything. So, anybody's. So, boys and girls, that's my appraisal of the first Mori Box, Mozzers or Morrison's beers, you want to call it. Um, it's a nice enough beer. But I think they've talked it up a bit on, on the can. That's the best thing. So, boys and girls, <clears throat> thank you very much for watching this one. Eight and a half minutes in. Time flies. See all of you on my next one. Cheers.